I had made a couple of videos, one of building this loader onto this small tractor, lawnmower type of tractor, and also one that evaluated the performance of the tractor. And what you're looking at here is the loader is trying to break ground. That is, uh, it's virgin ground, it hasn't been touched, it's been sitting a long, long time. And you can see that it's having difficulty. Now this uh, is at double speed, this film. Uh, and it is uh, showing that it's having difficulty. Now what I decided to do was put teeth on the bucket, and this is what I came up with initially. These are quarter inch by one inch by six inch long and they were welded on. Well, they didn't work as good as I wanted to, so I came back and I put these arrow-type tips on the teeth and uh, to see if maybe if I could improve it by being able to tear up the ground better. I wanted it to penetrate, though, so I didn't want them too massive. So, as we can see, it does sink into the ground and uh, a little bit of rocking back and forth. But the time it takes to break through this ground is greatly improved over what it was well, without any teeth on it at all. Sure enough, it works. Of course, it's limited to what it does, but it works. Now, this is a way of using those teeth in such, in such a way as to tear up the ground um, very effectively. What you do is basically sink the teeth into the ground and just back up. You lift it up a little bit, go forward, sink the teeth into the ground again and back up again. And it does a marvelous job at tearing up that uh, untouched ground so that you can come back later and you've got soft dirt that the loader can pick up, scoop up. So, teeth on the bucket are helpful, but be careful of your design. Leave a flat area under the bucket for smoothing out the dirt, and be reasonable in your expectations. You're going to get limited results no matter what you do. For what it's worth, that's my two cents. We hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully it was helpful to you in your decision making about building a loader. Please click the like button, and if you want to see more, please subscribe.